Good morning, everybody. I'm Jeff Borenstein, and I have the privilege and honor of serving as the president and CEO of the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. I'm pleased to welcome you to our International Mental Health Research Symposium. Today's symposium is also being simulcast virtually. BBRF is the world's leading private funder of mental health research grants. The foundation funds the most innovative ideas in neuroscience and psychiatry to better understand the causes and develop new ways to treat brain and behavior disorders. These include depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, autism, ADHD, anxiety, borderline personality disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, and post-traumatic stress, as well as suicide prevention. All of our funding comes from private donations. 100% of every dollar donated for research is invested in our research grants. Our operating expenses are covered by separate foundation grants. This means that if you donate a dollar for research, that dollar goes directly to the scientist. At the beginning of the year, we received a $1 million challenge match from two very generous family foundations that are passionate about BBRF's mission. The goal of the match is to accelerate the momentum in brain research as further breakthroughs are still needed. I'm happy to tell you that we have met the goal and achieved our $1 million challenge match. Well, my applause really go to the generous donors, many of whom are here today, both in person and virtually, for helping us meet this milestone, and also to the two family foundations who supported it. And I'm delighted to share that those two family foundations have generously increased their match by an additional $1 million. This means, yes, that gets a big applause. <laughs> this means that donations to BBRF will be matched from new donors, donors who have lapsed but make a 2023 contribution, and donors who have increased their 2023 contribution by the amount that they increased. Since 1987, the foundation has awarded more than $450 million to more than 5,400 scientists around the year, around the world. Um, each year, we provide 150 young investigator grants uh, for their two-year grant. So at any one point in time, there are 300 young investigators being supported by BBRF. I'm also delighted to announce some additional good news. The BBRF Distinguished Investigator Program will return in 2024. We're thankful to the Woodnext Foundation for helping us bring this to fruition. The researchers we support are selected by our scientific council. The council, led by Dr. Herb Pardis, is a group of 194 world-renowned scientists across disciplines in brain and behavior research. The projects selected by the Scientific Council are chosen specifically to open new frontiers in research and support innovative ideas that may not be supported elsewhere. Through this model of research grant selection, the Foundation fills a gap that has resulted in some of the most important advances in the field. I want to share with you a few of those advancements, just to give you an idea. Um, clozapine. Clozapine is one of the most effective medicines in the treatment of schizophrenia. Um, and the clinical trial for clozapine, led by Dr. Herb Meltzer, received support from BBRF. And it was that trial that resulted in FDA approval for clozapine. Another advancement is the development of rapid-acting antidepressants. Initially work with ketamine, um, and in 2019, a form of ketamine, esketamine, was approved um, to support, to, to provide treatment for refractory depression. We've supported over 90 
research grants looking at the use of rapid-acting antidepressants. And the early support that we gave to Dr. Dennis Charney and Dr. John Crystal helped bring this field to fruition. Another key advancement is transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS. We were early supporters of Dr. Mark George at the University of South Carolina as a young investigator in the development of TMS for depression. We've continued to support work in this area. More recently, with another young investigator, Dr. Nolan Williams, who's fine-tuned TMS to make it into a rapid-acting form of treatment. His form of TMS was approved by the FDA recently um, as a rapid-acting antidepressant. Choline as a dietary supplement. In our field, we've done a lot to treat conditions, but we really haven't yet done as much to prevent them. So in cardiology, we provide um, antihypertensive medicines, anti-cholesterol medicines to decrease the risk of developing heart disease. Well, early work in prevention um, was done by uh, Dr. Bob Friedman um, with support from BBRF, looking at the potential benefit of choline supplementation during pregnancy, just as we use other supplements, in order to decrease the risk of problems for the child. And that work is continuing. The AMA now recommends choline supplementation during pregnancy um, to protect the child from potentially developing schizophrenia and other illnesses down the road. Brexanolone is the first medicine specifically approved by the FDA for treating postpartum depression. And it's a rapid acting antidepressant. We were supporters in early work that led to that development. And I just want to point out some basic research because it's not just clinical work that we support. We were supporters in, in the development of optogenetics. Um, Dr. Carl Dyseroff and colleagues helped develop this. This is a way of genetically engineering brain cells so they respond to light. And it's a way to study the brain to better understand the brain. It's being used by thousands of labs around the world. And BBRF was an early supporter of the development of optogenetics. And finally, another very exciting basic science relates to stem cells. We're a, we can't just go and take samples of people's brain cells. It's too invasive. But we are able to take a sample of a skin cell, turn them into stem cells, and then in the lab turn them into brain cells. And this is a way to begin to study differences in brain cells of people who may have a, a condition and who are not um, experiencing that condition. Uh, these are some of the advancements that have happened as a result of support from BBRF. The success of BBRF is made possible because of the support and leadership of our board of directors, led by our chair, Jeff Simon. Jeff is sitting right over here, please wave. Thank you, Jeff, for your leadership. I also want to thank a number of our board directors who are with us today. I'll ask them to stand or raise their hand when I say their name. Don Boardman, who serves as our treasurer. Where's Don? There's Don. Marty Burrell. There's Marty over there. Dr. Judy Genshaft, who's also over there. Miriam Katowitz, who serves as our Vice President. Okay. Carol Malament, who's sitting right over here. John Osterhaus, who serves as our Secretary. John is right there. And Barbara Toll. And Barbara's right over here. Thank you for your extraordinary leadership and support. In addition to supporting research, we believe it's crucial to share research findings with the public. Today you'll hear presentations by five Outstanding Achievement Prize winners who are selected by special committees of the Foundation's Scientific Council. We also have a presentation from Dr. Carolee Mernix, who will be speaking on behalf of Special Olympics International, the winner of the 2023 Pardish Humanitarian Prize in Mental Health. 
All of today's presentations are being recorded and will be available on our website. As you'll see, the presentations are very much like TED Talks. I want to thank everybody here and who's listening at home uh, who's already made a donation in support of brain science. If you haven't, I ask that you please consider making a donation to BBRF in order to support mental health research. As I've already mentioned, 100% of every dollar donated for research goes to research, and right now it can have double the impact with our challenge match. For many years, this is the point in my presentation where I turn the program over to Dr. Robert Hirschfeld, who has served as the moderator since the inception of this event. Bob passed away earlier this year, and I'd like to take a moment of silence in memory of our dear friend and colleague. In addition to serving as the moderator of the symposium, Dr. Hirschfeld was also a member of the Colvin Prize Committee and chair of the Clearman Prize Committee. We miss him and appreciate his support for the important mission of BBRF. It's now my pleasure to introduce our new moderator, Dr. Carol Taminga. Dr. Taminga is a member of the BBRF Scientific Council, a 2011 Lieber Prize winner, and a 2010 and a 1988 BBRF Distinguished Investigator grantee. Dr. Taminga is Chair of Psychiatry and Chief of Translational Neuroscience Research in Schizophrenia at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical School. She directs clinical and preclinical research in schizophrenia focused on identifying disease mechanisms and on improving psychosis treatments. Carol, thank you for all your ongoing work to support the BBRF mission. Please come up here to the podium. 